Hi everyone, I am back with the 12th video of the realistic first person video series. In this video, we will create our body cam effect and animate it. And we will also add the reloading sound effects to our reloading animations. If you want to support me and my channel, please subscribe, like and comment on my videos. Also, you still have to be a supporter on my Buy Me A Coffee for the tutorial assets. So thank you for everything and let's get back to our video. First, open up your project directory, go to content and open up your asset zip. Then drag and drop your body cam folder into the content folder. Then open up the audio folder and drag and drop the reload folder into it. Now you can close and relaunch the UE. Go into body cam. You can see our materials and their instances. Open up the M underscore fisheye and save. We are doing this to avoid nonsense errors. Then do the same thing to the M underscore sharpen. Open up the M underscore vignette and go to the left side. Click on the upper blue node. Set the collection to MPC underscore vignette and make sure the parameter name is vignette shake. Do the same thing for the lower one and make sure the parameter is vignette offset. Now go to the inst folder and open up the fisheye. Set its parent to m underscore fisheye. You can play with these parameters to find the perfect effect for your game. Then go to the sharpen and set its parent to m underscore sharpen. And lastly, open up the vignette and set its parent to m underscore vignette. We finished our instances. We'll use this texture for a dirt mask. You can also find similar textures online. This is the material parameter collection. We will use these parameters to animate our body cam. Vignette material is the one that draws the body cam overlay. Sharpen material is adding the sharpening effect to our screen. And the last one, fisheye material, is adding the fisheye effect to our camera. And then we have our instances to edit material parameters much easier and faster. Go to first person, then blueprints, and open up the first person BP. Click onto the camera and scroll down to post process. Click on Chromatic Aberration, turn on Intensity and Start Offset, and set the intensity to 1.5. Then go to Dirt Mask, and set the asset to T underscore Dirt Mask. Set the intensity to 2, and set the tint color to white. Go to Film Grain, Set the intensity to 0.3 and enable texel size. Then click on rendering features, then post process materials and add three elements to the array. Set the first asset to m underscore vignette underscore inst. Then set the second one to m underscore fisheye underscore inst. And lastly, set the third one to m underscore sharpen underscore inst. Now you can see our body cam overlay, fisheye and sharpening effect on our screen. I'll change the dirt mask intensity to 1.2 and change the lighting intensity in the level for better visualizations. Now, dirt mask looks much better. Let's go back to first person BP and create a custom event called body cam offset. Get the first person camera and its world rotation. Then call a delta node and create a new rotator variable called prev cam rotation and connect it to B of the delta node.
split the outcome into pins, then get the Y and multiply with three. Then get a finterp2 node. Create two float variables called camshakex and camshake y. Connect the multiply node to target and camshake y to current. Duplicate the finterp node. Connect Z to target and camshake X to current. Then get world delta seconds and connect to delta times. Divide one by delta seconds and divide the outcome by 12. Then connect the outcome to interp speeds. Add clamp float nodes after finterps. And set the parameters to minus five and five. Then set the camshake Y and camshake X variables with the clamp nodes. Call a set vector parameter value node. Set the collection to mpc underscore vignette and the parameter name to vignette offset. Split the parameter value and connect the camshake x to r and the camshake y to g. Lastly, set the prev cam rotation to the first person camera's world rotation. We need to call the body cam offset event every tick, so we will call our event with the event tick. In this event, we first get our camera's world rotation and calculate the delta difference between the one tick previous rotation of our camera. So we basically find out which way the player is rotating its camera. Then we use finterps for smoother animations and we clamp the value to limit the animation amount. Then we set the vector parameter value of the parameter collection, and as we did before, this parameter collection is connected to our vignette material. Lastly, we set the prevcam rotation variable to the camera's world rotation to use in the calculation next tick. By the way, if you don't know what tick means, you can think it's like every second that engine runs the codes. So every tick, the engine runs the event tick event. Now the body cam overlay moves with our camera's rotation. Back in first person BP, we will create another custom event called body cam shake. And we will add a vector input to our event called walk anim offset. Then we'll create a vector variable called prev walk anim offset. And we will subtract the input from the variable. Then we will multiply the outcome with minus 10. Add a vinterup2 node, connect the target to the multiply node, create a new variable called walk body cam shake, and connect it to current. Then get world delta seconds and connect to delta time. And divide one by delta second and divide the outcome by 12 then connect it to interp speed.
Then set the walk body cam shake to the outcome of the Vinterp node. Break the vector variable and call the set vector parameter value node. Set the collection to MPC vignette and set the parameter name to vignette shake. Then split the parameter value and connect the X to R and Z to G. And lastly, set the prev walk anim offset to the input value. Then go to the walk event and after the walk vec set node, call the body cam shake event and connect the pins. In this event, like the body cam offset event, we calculated the difference of our walk anim offset and used the value to shake our body cam. Again, we used the Vinterp node to smooth out our animations. And we set the vector parameter with our walk body cam shake variable. But this time we use the vignette shake variable. Lastly, we set the prev walk anim offset to the input value because we will use the prev variable in the next tick. The walk anim offset variable is calculated in our walk event. So our body cam animations will be synced with our procedural walking animations. As you can see, our body cam animations are perfectly synced with our procedural animations walking, sprinting, and crouching, it is perfectly synced. Select all the nodes, right click and click collapse nodes, then name it body cam event. Now it's time for the reloading sound effect. In the reload folder, we have our WAVs and our cues. We will assign the WAVs to each cue, so it will be easier to add some effects on the sound in the future. So open up the M1911 hand and set the wave to mag hand. Open up the mag hit and set the wave to mag hit. Open up the mag in and set the wave to mag in. Do the same thing for mag out. Mag release. Slide back. and slide release. Then go to first person arms animations and open up the FPPS reload. Go to the shown frame and right click, add notify and select play sound and set the sound to mag release. Make sure you select cues then do the same thing and set the sound to mag out. Again do the same thing and set it to hand. again and set it to mag in. Set it to mag hit.
slide back. And the last one, slide release. Then open up the reload not full and do the same thing. Mag release. Mag out. Hand. Mag in. And mag hit. They don't have to be perfectly placed. Just do as you can. It won't make troubles. Now you'll be able to hear the sound effects perfectly synced with animations. That's all for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. You can also comment on your questions down below. Also, don't forget to join our Discord channel for further questions about the tutorials. See you in the next video. Bye.